Hi everyone, um, today I'm just going to make you a little demo about um, while we're talking about gesture, gesture drawing. And um, gesture drawing is a really fantastic way to improve your hand-eye coordination, to uh, warm up. Artists use it to warm up before they, um, they, they get started into uh, a final artwork. And um, it really improves your observational skills. And so what we're going to do today is, is look at all the different types of um, gestural drawing. So um, I have chosen something very like <laughs> pertinent to our days at the moment, um, a bottle of hand sanitizer as my uh, subject. Um, so what we're really, really trying to do though is to um, improve our observation of objects. We're trying to translate a three-dimensional object onto a two-dimensional surface. So we're going to use um, charcoal and newsprint today and this is just like warm-up. It's about um, training us how to look and you're not going to hold your charcoal like a pen. You're going to, you're not going to be doing small marks like this. Gestural drawing is all about bigger, sweeping gestures to try and capture a form, try and see the different line quality, whether that can actually um, represent your subject better. So we're going to talk about four different types of gesture. We have line gesture, we have mass gesture, and mass line gesture. Um, followed by scribbled line gesture, which is really fun. So um, let's let's start. Um, we're using compressed charcoal, which can make many different types of marks. Okay, and we're going to try and not look at the paper. Okay, so it's this is more about just really practicing your. Um, your observational skills. So first off we're going to um, draw this hand sanitizer in line in a line gesture form. Um, so just really going to observe I'm not really going to take my hand off the paper but it's just very quickly to try and map out where everything is. So very quickly, um, and then maybe we uh, we we could just add a little bit of shadow there. All right, so we're really just trying to look at the form of the thing and how it sits in space. So that's line gesture. Next thing we're going to look at is mass gesture. So I'm going to start at a different place this time. I'm going to start at the, the neck of the bottle and just try and map that out, map that form out. Just using the side of the charcoal Really not wanting to look too much at the paper. Okay, so a little bit more in there. So you've got just the general feeling of the object or subject itself. And using the side of the charcoal, if you, especially if you have something that is um, transparent. You can you can alter the um, 
you can alter the marks that you're making um, in order to, to really translate that whole um, feeling of transparency. Okay. So the next follow um, the next thing we're going to do is mass end line gesture. And this is a very quick way to to block in basically your form. Try really hard not to look too much at the paper. And just try and capture where everything is. And then go back in with, with line and try and make the line have some sensibility of the material that your subject is made of. to get a sense of where everything is in this. Okay, so mass and line gesture. I forgot the shadow. <laughs> it's pretty non-observational shadow, I'm sorry. As you'll notice, shadows are very different, especially if they're of liquid or Okay. So mass and line gesture. And then scribble gesture, which is really fun um, and is if you know the work of Giacometti, the Italian artist, then you'll um, you'll know a lot about, or you will have seen scribble gesture before, which is, is really fun. Okay, so we're going to really go fast. We're just going to use only scribbles to actually portray what's there. And an even faster um, type of gestural drawing. So let me just turn slightly. Um, so those are the four uh, types of gestural drawing, and you're really using you're using your arm more, and you're just really trying to observe um, what is going on with the subject. Uh, super fun and um, really really good way to warm up before you actually start into a drawing that you um, want to spend a lot more time to um, finish. So um, I hope that you'll have fun doing these exercises and um, I'll see you soon.